Hey guys, so um, I just got my Ipsy bag, so I will be posting a video on that soon. But for now, I'm going to be going through some empties. So I'm going to start off just right with what's on top. I have a lot of shampoo and conditioners, which I don't go through them that fast, but I have three sisters, so we all share kind of. And these were a few that we had for a while, and these are like my favorites. I repurchased some different Brits these ones, but my sister's been using them. I've been using different ones, so I don't know how I like those ones, but this is the uh, shampoo shiny, sh super shiny, sh ooh, super shiny, super lustrant. Yeah, shampoo with mango. These smell so good, and they made my hair feel incredible. And this one is the More and Moisture Super Hydrant Conditioner with I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna show you it and spell it out. B A O B A B, I guess. But the alcohol? I don't know. That is definitely not right. This is um, a shampoo. This is the anti breakage keratin oil shampoo from OGX, I guess. This smells so good. <laughs> I'm like spraying the air into my face. Um, I really like this. I would probably repurchase repurchase the Fruit Spies over this. As you can tell that's what I did repurchase. But I would definitely be happy with my that. This here is it has a little bit at the bottom, but like I couldn't shake it out enough. Now it's like ew, disgusting gel. Ew. Okay, ew. That was that was really gross. Um, but this one smells really good. And then I have some body lotions. So the first one here is the Body Shop Body Butter. This is just the mini. It's just the size of my palm, but these take so long to use up. So this smells really good. Um, it was a little too strong for me though. It smelled good though. Um, I was happy using it up, but I won't repurchase. Uh, this took me about three months to use up. This is the White Mango Chill Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I used it all up. It's incredible. It's White Mango Chill. I thought I wouldn't like it that much, which is why I was using it up. But I really, really miss this scent. And if they have it at next same annual sale, I'll definitely repurchase it. Um, then I have a shower gel. This is the Endless Weekend Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works again. This is the sample size. I thought it was good. I do prefer um, others that I've tried, but again, I wouldn't mind getting that one, but I just prefer others. I have some hand cream. So this one is the Hands of Hope by Philosophy. And it's a hand and beautiful cream. So, as you can tell, I really like this. Like, even if I squeeze so hard, <laughs> nothing comes out. I had a basic scent, but it was a really nice one. Sorry, it was trying on nail polish colors, and now my nail is so disgusting. <laughs> but, yeah, just pretty good for that. And this is the L'Occitane Hand Cream. I talked about this in my August favorites, if you did watch that. And this smells so good. Yeah, same thing, I can't get any out. I use this every night and sometimes when I was walking out the door. I might repurchase this, but it's pretty pricey. It's $10 for it. Hand cream. <laughs> okay, um, getting down to the bottom here, we have some more creams. These are just sample sizes, but they, this is where I put my beauty trash. So it's kind of fit in there. These were really, really nice creams there um, from Sephora. I just got a little bit on. This is the Sephora Age Defined Night Moisture Cream, and they came in a little set. And this is the Sephora Age Defined Moisture Cream SPF Sun SPF 15 Sun Cream. And this one's called Sleeping Beauty, and this one's called Don't Act Your Age. So I did like these. Um, I probably won't be purchased just because I do have some cheaper alternatives that I like just as much, if not more. Uh, another two samples here from Sephora. This is the 
Bosha BB Cream. I, I had like five uses in this, but I just applied the tiniest amount and I loved it. Then one day I was like, just gonna put it on full and it felt really cakey on my skin. I don't know, I did not like this full on, but little by little, oh, beautiful. This is another uh, cream. Just, it was, it was nice. It was really, really nice. It was kind of like a watery to cream. But I, it's really, really nice. I would think about purchasing this if I knew what it was, but I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is a mascara. This is the first makeup product I've ever used at. Because I just um, got into it this year and it was like sealed. Okay, there. Yeah. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Why am I smelling on mascara? I have gone crazy. This is the La Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. Water resistant, aqua resistant. Um, in black brown, I really, really like this because it was a little, little bit subtler than black, but not much. And it was out, it was starting to crumble down and I had to apply four coats instead of one to get the same natural amount of um, mascara liquid lip smacker in pink lemonade and oh my gosh this took so long to use up but it tastes really good and as you can tell it gives like this glossy look I have something underneath so it doesn't give like that color but it's a really pretty gloss and probably won't repurchase it just because I have so many lip glosses but if I wanted a clear one this is probably my favorite clear lip gloss so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this empties video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. Leave some comments down below of what you would like to see next. And bye guys.